<clears throat> All right, here's our setup for the first part of the experiment. Um, actually, if we take a look at our data table, we're going to be now determining what's called the experimental equilibrium. And we've got this round table with some angle markings, which we'll be using. There's a pin that goes in the center here with this ring around it with the strings attached. Now, what we're going to be doing is we've got these two hanging uh, masses here. All right, we've got one here and one over here hanging over these pulleys. And those are going to be the two forces that are given to us. That gives us an angle, where to put the pulley, and also how much mass to hang. Now, one thing about these, um, about these hanging masses is that the, the hanger itself has a, is 50 grams. Here's another 50 on top of there. So this would be 100 grams. Um, a couple things about the pulleys here. We, we don't want it to be like this. That's going to throw off our data a bit. And also, the, so we want to tighten that up down here. Also, we can see that this pulley itself can, can be pushed up or down. We don't want this. That's going to be rubbing on there. We want to get that string as horizontal as possible. Um, so anyway, we're given two of the forces here, the amount of mass and the angle. And the equilibrium is the third force needed in order to uh, have this ring just uh, floating there without any, any other forces on it besides the three hanging masses. So we're going to first want to try to find the angle. And you can see that it doesn't really, if I'm at the wrong angle, it's always going to be rubbing here. Um, it's going to be rubbing on that uh, center pin there. So we want to first try to find the correct angle. Once I've got that, I can attach my pulley here. Let's see if I can get this more accurately here. I can tighten that pulley. And now, um, now that we've got the angle, we're going to just want to slowly add some masses here until we can get this system This right, pretty close. Anyway, well, that's pretty close right there. Anyway, now we'll be able to measure the angle and the mass for the third force, which is called the equilibrium, and that would go right here, all the way down.